Good evening. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. In your resurrection, O oh Christ, let heaven and earth rejoice. Alleluia. Blessed are you, sovereign God, the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. To you be glory and praise forever. From the deep waters of death, you brought your people to new birth by raising your son to life in triumph. Through him, dark death has been destroyed. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God forever. Psalm 45. Behold our defender, O God, and look upon the face of your anointed. My heart is astir with gracious words as I make my song for the king. My tongue is the pen of a ready writer. You are the fairest of men. Full of grace are your lips, for God has blessed you forever. Gird your sword upon your thigh, O mighty one. Gird on your majesty and glory. Ride on and prosper in the cause of truth and for the sake of humility and righteousness. Your right hand will teach you, you terrible things. Your arrows will be sharp in the heart of the king's enemies so that peoples fall beneath you. Your throne is God's throne forever. The scepter of your kingdom is the scepter of righteousness. You love righteousness and hate iniquity. Therefore, God, your God, has anointed you with the oil of gladness above your fellows. All your garments are fragrant with myrrh, aloes and cassia. From ivory palaces, the music of strings makes you glad. King's daughters are among your honourable women. At your right hand stands the queen in gold of Ophir. Hear, O daughter, consider and incline your ear. Forget your own people and your father's house. So shall the king have pleasure in your beauty. He is your Lord, so do him honour. The people of Tyre shall bring you gifts. The richest of people shall seek your favour. The king's daughter is all glorious within. Her clothing is embroidered cloth of gold. She shall be brought to the king in raiment of needlework. After her, the virgins that are her companions. With joy and gladness shall they be brought and enter into the palace of the king. Instead of your fathers, you shall have sons, whom you shall make princes over all the land. They will make your name to be remembered through all generations. Therefore shall the peoples praise you for ever and ever. Behold our defender, O God, and look upon the face of your anointed. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Lord our God, bring your bride, the Holy Church, with joy to the marriage feast of heaven, and unite us with your anointed Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We're still celebrating St Mark's Day. So this reading from 2 Timothy. Paul writes, I can't impress this on you too strongly. God is looking over your shoulder. Christ himself is the judge with the final say on everyone, living and dead. He's about to break into the open with his rule. So proclaim the message with intensity. Keep on your watch. Challenge, warn, and urge your people. Don't ever quit. Just keep it simple. You're going to find that there will be times when people have no stomach for solid teaching, but will fill up on spiritual junk food, catchy options that tickle their fancy. They'll turn their backs on truth and chase mirages. But you, keep your eye on what you're doing. Accept the hard times along with the good. Keep the message alive. Do a thorough job as God's servant. You take over. I'm about to die my life and offering on God's altar. This is the only wor race worth running. I've run hard right to the finish, believed all the way. All that's left now is the shouting, God's applause. Depend on it. He's an honest judge. He'll do not only right, not only by me, but by everyone eager for his coming. 
Get here as fast as you can. Dimas, chasing fads, went off to Thessalonica and left me here. Kreskens in, is in Galatia province, Titus in Dalmatia. Luke is the only one here with me. Bring Mark with you. He'll be my right-hand man since I'm ten sending Tychicus to Ephesus. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. He has become my salvation. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The stone which the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. Alleluia. And so we take this opportunity to, to come to our Heavenly Father in prayer. And we recognize this privilege and we uh, recognize uh, God's majesty and our smallness. We come in humility, seeking his mercy. As we reflect on uh, Paul's encouragement to Timothy, we give thanks for uh, everyone who encourages us and sets a good example of a, a faithful life lived to the end. We don't know what happened to Timothy, but he had this legacy of a mentor and a guide in Paul who uh, raised him up and uh, helped him to keep going when things were tough, uh, to keep his eye on, focused on the goal and not to give up. And so, Lord, we pray that you would uh, help us to be such an encouragement to others and that you give us that encouragement uh, from others too. To keep going when times are tough and not to, to go for the easy option, but for always to always pursue that which is true. And so we um, devote ourselves to following Jesus, to meditating on his way and his word. Father, as we uh, contemplate your majesty and the mercy shown to us in Jesus, we, we bring to you those we know who are finding things particularly tough at the moment. And Lord, we thank you that you give us one another to be a source of support and encouragement. And we pray that uh, all the 
all the ways in which we're trying to offer practical help to people in need would, would reach those who need it, that the word would get out, that people would come and uh, receive that gift. So we pray for the ministry that's happening at St. Peter's Church in the morning and the evening and tomorrow at lunchtime, and providing food and drink and uh, tins and bread and whatever else there is. I mean, we're grateful for all the people who've donated so generously uh, to that work. And Lord, we pray that you'd sustain those who volunteer uh, down at church doing that. Keep them healthy. Uh, keep them supported and uh, enabled to do the work that you give them to do. And Father, we pray for our worship tomorrow. Lord, we pray that you'd uh, bless us in it, uh, enable us in it. And we pray that what we offer, even from our several homes, would be a, a song of praise with Christians around the world that makes your heart glad and that lifts the spirits of those who are cast down in these days. Lord, we pray for that capacity to recognise Jesus uh, and recognise the way in which you're present and at work in the day that we reflect on now and in the night and the day that comes. Almighty God, who enlightened your holy church through the inspired witness of your evangelist, St. Mark, grant that we, being firmly grounded in the truth of the gospel, may be faithful to its teaching both in word and deed, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Rejoicing in God's new creation, as our Saviour taught us, so with longing we pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. May the risen Christ grant us the joy of eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia, alleluia. Well, God bless you. Give you a good and peaceful night. And see you for worship tomorrow at 9.30 or 11 o'clock. <laughs>